Morning world, it is quarter past five in the morning, and again, another stupidly early start, um, but we're going to be meeting up with our producer and the camera team um, at 5.30, so we've got a 50 minute wait now until they come, and then we're going to head off to Bulacan to um, meet our chef for the episode, so we're very excited. Um, this is kind of like a behind the scenes look at making a TV show. Um, obviously a much, much, much smaller scale, but still it's interesting just to kind of, even at this scale, to see the goings on and how, how a team's run, so looking forward to that. I think although tomorrow might also be a long day for filming the second half of the episode, we do we do get back at a reasonable hour tonight, so I think we finish about 8, 9 o'clock. I think I think I drop off about 9, so I think, you know, quickly grab by to eat, <laughs> oh, my God, we're going to eat at the bloody family's house, aren't we? We're going to have a double. So we'll eat there, we'll probably get back, probably get an early night, because for me in particular, I've got a lot of sleep to catch up on. I know Shay's been feeling it too, so we're excited. This is day one of the pilot. Um, enjoy! So we're on the move to our first filming location. Um, got our pick up bang on 6.30, so we are having a nice relaxing ride. We could do the coffee, I think we could all do the coffee. We've got a team behind us here. <laughs> Those guys were up earlier than we were because I had to go and be picked up from the driver and everything. So, yeah, we should be there in, I've no idea, maybe an hour, maybe less. Who knows? Still can't believe we're actually shooting this pilot. It doesn't seem like something obtainable, like you, you never think that it could ever happen and here we are doing it. It's just mad. Absolutely mad. Yeah, we're here. We're doing it. <laughs> Took a quick stop and we've got ourselves a nice mug of coffee because quite frankly we bloody need it. We've got some breakfast coming shortly. Not sure what we've got, just a bunch of bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We can't see it. So we just finished breakfast. Absolutely beautiful. Needed that coffee and the food was delicious. Hit the spot. Uh, the crew are currently uh, getting the gear ready and sort of for the shoot. And then as soon as we get to the first location, which is Bulacan. And we're roughly, how far do you think? An hour? I don't there. even know. I couldn't even guess. Because how long will it take us to get here? I don't even know. Twi I thought it was like 20 I don't minutes. even know what day it is. <laughs> I've just... Uh... Anyway, uh, getting the gear sorted and then we've got to be on our way. We jumped out of the air-conditioned van into the baking street of Malolos. The guy responsible for sound wired us up to some mic packs so our dialogue can be recorded. With absolutely no idea where the hell we were going, we just followed some directions of travel and just took in the atmosphere. We met up with Chef Jello, who will be giving us a personal tour of the nearby market to buy ingredients for the meal we will be cooking later that day. So we're several scenes into our pilot. It's all going rather well. Um, we're just... Sorry, Shane. <laughs> using a 360 camera. We're just about to head out into the courtyard where we're going to actually learn how to cook pork adobo. And the crew is setting up, we've got the sound guys talking about his sound. And we've got the other guy setting up at the back there with the cameras. And our chef. All right, about here. Hello, there. welcome to the Philippines <laughs> and to my hometown, Malolos Bulacan. This, this spot versus the very first one near the door yeah. has more of a professional TV pilot sort of vibe. It does, because it, it's almost like a closed set then, it's like ours to, to use as we see fit. Um, and yeah, I'm just thinking it's just a great little, it's a quiet spot, and that's what we need. Good audio, like clean audio. I think we're going to be filming near the back, so we're going to have like a table set up, we're going to have like a, uh, like a, a burner, I guess, uh, a gas burner to actually cook the adobo. 
what and, and this beautiful outdoor setting is so cool still hasn't really sank in what we're doing it seems crazy that we'd even give this a try you, you know Shay and I we don't do things by half measures uh, it's all or nothing so <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this so in this segment of the video chef there's Shay chef over there is going to teach us how to cook adobo and then we're going to put into practice what we've learned and cook our version of adobo tomorrow We've got some iced drinks coming, so very much looking forward to having my iced coffee. <laughs> the way you see that. <laughs> iced coffee. The, the dance of playing boy inside. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the energy levels up, but it's, it's actually it's, it's taking more energy to be energetic. It's, it, I think what it really is, it's just the heat. The heat is sucking us. <laughs> <laughs> There was a point today where I was wandering around town and I could feel like literal beads of sweat dripping down my back and I was like, my God, it's warm. I like how you cleaned that up, Dan. Because he didn't, when he said that, he didn't say back, he said, crack. Alright? When? Before? Oh. No. We have a fan which is just, it's feeling good. And we got ourselves uh, an iced coffee. Because the beads are dripping down that glass. So refreshing, so nice. And to be honest, you know, ice, good. Coffee, good. I need the stimulant. That really is an iced coffee. <laughs> Normally you get like flavors like a caramel or something that's just literally like just cold coffee with an ice cube. do some sugar. So just a, an update for you guys, it's, it's 20 past 11, though it feels like about 4 in the afternoon because we've had such a long morning. So Chef's just prepping some of the raw ingredients, so he's, he's smashed and, and cut and whatever the, um, the garlic. He's now cutting the pork, I believe, into more of a diced fashion, so um, I'm guessing once we get onto the table we're going to throw it into the mix rummage it around in the bowl and then smash it onto a wok. Um, we are about 10 minutes away from rolling cameras. We've still got another nine hours of the day. <laughs> it's a long day. <laughs> you know, we, there's a change in pace later on, so now it's all about the cookery stuff. Then later on it's more about the family and the, the entertainment and the dining side of things, so it should be pretty good. So producer. <laughs> You'll have to watch the actual episode to kind of see the full experience and um, watch the full episode. With the table set, we took our positions and rolled cameras. Of course, we're not going to reveal too much of the episode. Spoilers. After our lunchtime slump, we ventured back to Manila where we were invited to spend the evening with a local Filipino family for some good food and some entertainment, which formed the second part of our shoot. So we're at the last and final location. Uh, we're with the Filipino family and we're going to be trying adobo chicken. And we're also going to be helping to prepare the meal and we will also be doing some karaoke with some San Miguelite. I don't know about you mate, but we can do this. I'm just hanging by a thread right now in the nicest way. This is amazing and such a great opportunity to meet a local, a real local family yes. doing the things that we're doing. But I don't want to crash. This has now become an either or situation because Beer is quite a gassy drink and, you know, if you're already on the cusp of not being able to eat anymore, this is certainly going to push me over the edge, so do I go for the drink or do I go for the food? Ooh. At this moment I thought, have I opened it too early? Is it a bit kind of rude to start drinking? I'm still trying to answer that question. What if it was 
Yeah, this is all shy song. I pay my dues. <laughs> time, time after time. time. There we go. Yeah. I've done my sentence, but oh, but committed, committed no, no crime. Ooh, Dad. And, and that mistakes. mistakes. He's I made, made a few. few. <laughs> you haven't let me in till two hours. I've had, had my share of sand in my face, face and now I've come through. On, on, <laughs> and we are the champions.